and one of our sons, uh, Jonathan Luther Jackson. <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi, 60 years later, his legacy is alive. His dreams for democracy, decolonization, human rights, his quest to end barbaric enmity based upon class and tribe and race and gender has momentum. For the most part, all of Africa, Asia, South, Central, and Latin America, and the Caribbean, as in the last 60 years, most of the world's peoples. Nuclear war and greed remain our threats. Nonviolence and satyagraha, soul force, remains our therapy. And the only window from which the peace we seek is possible. Dr. King said, just call me a drum major for justice. Dr. King and Gandhi were drum majors and dreamers who marched to a, a different beat and heard a different sound. Dreamers march to a different beat because with their third ear they hear unordinary. Dreamers are often counterculture. They swim upstream. Dreamers most often are change agents, sometimes called misfits. They are artists. They write the play you never imagined. They sing the song and make the sound that seems totally new. Dreamers are politicians in new timing, fullness of time. Dreamers are not asleep, open wide. They are the stuff of which change is made. So often in life, they are rejected, imprisoned, killed, or martyred. In the Old Testament, Joseph, the visionary, the interpreter of dreams, was rejected by his brothers, but ultimately saved the rejectors, his family, the jailers, and the nation. Jesus was rejected by his own religion. Nelson Mandela was imprisoned and isolated. Dr. King was attacked by his government. His home was bombed, he was stabbed, and ultimately... Mahatma Gandhi, the merciful, imprisoned by his government and killed by the merciless and the unknowing, his attackers just didn't know who he was. Ironically, those that sought to give their lives had their lives taken from them. In each instance, these dreamers had majority visions bigger than their own ethnicity or common surroundings, their country and their practiced religion. We live in the wick of their dreams, their risk, and their sacrifices. We're beneficiaries of great legacies that obligate us to act and to serve. Sixty years since the assassination of martyrdom of Mohandas K. Gandhi, the Mahatma, and 40 years since the brutal assassination of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the master teacher and the master student, Gandhi and King, they changed the world in life and even more powerfully in death. It can seldom be said that one person changed the course of the whole world or that of a nation. But through acts of unusual courage, risky acts of sacrifice, selflessness and vision in some time from some place Jesus the Christ transcended his race religion geography and his time Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. devoted Christian with spiritual powers intellect and timing and courage lifted the veil in America Dr. King exposed